So in today's video, we're going to quickly discuss whether you should apply starter fertilizer at the time of steering or wait a certain period of time and how I kind of messed up a little bit here. So stick around and we'll discuss why I think I messed up. So here you can see um, my back lawn. Um, I just overseeded this, probably about two and a half weeks ago now. Um, I apply starter fertilizer at the same time. I put my Tenacity Pre-Emergent weed killer down. There are a few dandelions back there, but that's not too bad actually. Considering how bad it was beforehand, I don't see a lot of weeds. Over in this area over here, right there, there are a lot of weeds, but I didn't spray anything over there. That's where our fruit and vegetable garden is going, so I didn't want to spray anything in there. And So the reason that I did um, put my starter fertilizer down when I did is because you're not meant to walk on seed once it's already down. You're meant to keep foot traffic off of there. I've got an irrigation system, so I don't even need to go out there and move sprinklers. That's great. So risk you do run with that is the rest of the grass starts to push and um the rest of my grass it really grew and it's at the point now where i'm gonna to have to mow it it's i think it's starting to block out um the seed or the seedlings um really short grass in there probably not getting a lot of sunlight the number two part that kind of messed up with this overseeding is the weather when i seeded and then four days later we got snow and that week we were in the low 30s and it was low freezing for a good three or four nights out of the week. That did not do well for this um, project out here. So really, we're kind of on week two. I'm going to say that that week didn't really count as anything. The temperatures completely dropped. I don't know what the ground temperatures were. Where I wasn't outside that much. I went back inside, put the heating on because it was that cold. And it was in April. So... That's the second thing that didn't really go in our favour, but hey, kind of risk you take with spring overseeding. That's why you want to overseed mainly in the fall, because you know you're going to get rain at some point, but also you're not going to get frost until later on in the year. So if you start overseeding end of August, you've got a couple of months before you're even going to see the first frost or in the low 30s um, during the night. So this brings me on to my next point is, depending on the seed that you use, you might actually be better off waiting and going over a starter fertilizer five or six days maybe even seven days after you have initially seeded you might have a few starting to poke out there but mainly you're not going to have any it's still going to be the seed so that's a good time to go over it as well there's not a lot of foot traffic there you know you're making a couple of passes or if you depends how you do it half a pass and then go back at 90 degrees the opposite direction there's not a lot of foot traffic so that is an option that i should have actually done here that would have worked out great um, i think because the grass wouldn't be growing like this. So if you do have some grass seed that is maybe rye grass, the grass seed I did use did have rye grass in it, but if you've got some annual rye grass in there, um, you are probably going to want to put star fertilizer down at the time as overseeding. That stuff really does grow really fast. I put that down as my um, fall overseed. It was Scott's contractor blend and it just took off. It was flying. Um, I think I got my first mowing within like two and a half weeks, maybe pushing three weeks. So kind of at this point where I am right now. So I did go for, you know, a more expensive grass seed, different mix, um, not full of annual um, ryegrass. But something else to consider is what type of grass seed um, you are going to be putting down um, so you don't end up with a really bushy lawn that needs mowed, but you've still got inch and a half grass seedlings. Let's just take a look and see what they actually look like. So here we have it, it's not too, yeah, it's not too long, what maybe an inch and a half there. There are some more shorter ones right in there. So we do still have germination happening. Um, but overall, this is not um, looking too good at the minute. So weather does play a huge part in your starter fertilizer too, not, in, not just your seed. And the knock-on effect from that because starter fertilizer starts getting to work pretty quickly um, or working its way um, but that also helps out your current lawn so you just need to consider the weather look ahead you can obviously only look so far ahead that weather did kind of catch us by surprise so we weren't expecting that and then snow really weren't expecting that so that's just a couple of things to consider um, and Something I'll be considering for the next time so I don't end up with what well, I'm considering a bit of a failure here, actually. So if you did like this video, please do 
consider giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel got a lot more content coming now that the uh weather's getting nice out we'll get some more long content and yard content on the way i've got a pretty big project that's going to go all the way around the yard so stick around and i'll catch you on the next video